What's going on guys? I'm your host here, Chris Barnard. Top 10 vertical exercises. Today we have number two, one of my all time favorite performance lower body strength lifts, okay? You guys have seen me do this in numerous videos, videos when I was doing uh, working for the combine. I really attribute this particular exercise to my increase in vertical when I was training lower body strength and that is the high box squat. Okay, so you guys are familiar with the box squat where you're essentially, you know, coming down, uh, stabilizing on top of the box and then being able to produce or overcome that resistance from a static position. Static meaning we're absolutely coming to an end, so we're not, or I mean, we're coming to a dead stop. So we're not utilizing that stretch shortening cycle, right? So what I, uh, what I typically like to do here um, is I reason why I say high box is because and the reason why I like it is for a number of reasons uh, Number one is because when I'm actually training the vertical jump uh, You're actually going in a limited range of motion So when I do a vertical jump, I'm coming down into a quarter squat and exploding up now I want to mimic that same sport specific movement. So what I do is I drop down the uh, my range of motion just a tad bit smaller but I'm performing the same thing. If you think about it, if you look, it's just a tad bit smaller than what my actual range of motion is, and then I'm overcoming that heavy resistance. Number two, uh, reason why I love it, is because you can load up a heavier load uh, as you're opposed to your regular back squat, right? So somebody who does a back squat, say 315, when they do a high box squat, they can actually overcome a little bit more. Usually you can get up into the high 300s, low 400s, so you're actually testing your body out and firing so much uh, motor units recruitment I'm sorry from actually having a higher resistance and uh, in number three I love training both phases of the triphasic so there's three phases to triphasic which is eccentric isometric and concentric well with the high bar box squat what you're really focusing on is you're focusing on a controlled eccentric motion right so when I have that heavy resistance I have to have a really controlled eccentric motion and through that your, your body is actually training its stretch reflex right and then when I'm on the bottom of the box right and I produce that force going up I'm actually training concentric which really works that rate of force development so every time that I'm on this on the box I'm focusing on with that heavy load exploding up as hot as uh, fast as I possibly can so those are three reasons why I love the high bar back squat I absolutely love it. Find a uh, height that's just below or just above parallel for you, but just below your range of motion that you're actually doing the vertical jump in. Um, and then you can go ahead and receive those benefits from that. That's number two. I'll let you guys next time.